morning everybody, it's Sandy Boucher and it's a little after 6 a.m. again. I have a day full of meetings that I'm really, really excited about and I'm just here having a nutritious breakfast before I head off. But before I head off, once again, I was thinking of you. And I wanted to share actually a teaching that I received yesterday that answers so many of your questions. Often, over the years, I've been asked, why? What makes a Anishinaabe person different from a non-Aboriginal person? What, how can you sum up this different? I say all the time that we look at things differently, but to sum that up, I always struggle to find the words. And yesterday, I heard a teaching that did an amazing job of summing that up. Bottom line. What my teacher shared was that there's two types of people, the caretakers and the takers. Takers look at the world for what it can give them. They look at the earth, our environment for what they can get from it. The resources, the oil, the gold, the silver, the water, what they can do with it, how they can prosper from it. And so often, greed is the motivator behind their actions. As Anishinaabe people, we just don't think that way. The earth is Mother Earth. It's our mom. And she, like another good, nurturing mother, she provides for us. She gives us food. She gives us shelter. She gives us what we need to survive. And in return, we respect her and we nurture her and we take care of her just like we would our mother. It's a reciprocal relationship. We appreciate and honor her beauty. And she nurtures us and teaches us. So much of my growing and, and self-realization has happened in the bush where I sit with Mother Earth, sit in nature and listen. And the clarity is absolutely amazing. Anishinaabe people don't own the land. When you hear us speak of my land, we speak of the land we belong to, just as we speak of the families we belong to. We defend with vigor Mother Earth as we would defend any family member and we worry about all our relations, the deer and the moose and the beaver and the wolf, the water, the air, all our relations. This is how we view the Earth and it has worked for hundreds of years. It is when those teachings were forgotten and greed took over that you started to see the problems. For a Anishinaabe person, if you thought of yourself going to the dinner table at a friend's house or at your mother's house, you pass the plates and you take what you need and everybody eats. That's how an Anishinaabe person looks at our resources. We take what we need. We don't hunt for quotas. We hunt for what our families need. We fish for what our families need. And we provide for the ones in our community. They can't. That is the Anishinaabe way. So many could benefit from the Indian way. I was thinking of you and just had to share that. I hope you found it interesting. I hope it's something you consider and think about the next time you walk on Mother Earth. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.